I made it home, um, and I just want to say that I had a really good time, and I almost didn't go. Um, so I've been at work all day, Baby Bay has been with his dad all day, and um, I noticed that there was a, like, I found out there was a game tonight, and I was like, I wonder how much it costs to go, and so when I look at tickets, they are pretty inexpensive, and so the Baby Bay was asleep this afternoon like late afternoon and I'm thinking like okay he's knocked out um and he is going oh he's nursing right now so you see his little head bobbing so I said he is knocked out and he is going to be like wired all night like I need to do something with him I need to get him out of the house I looked up the game tickets and they are pretty pretty reasonable and expensive and I said do I want to go like it's going to be late. The, the game starts at 7.30 tonight. It's going to be cold. So I just made up all these excuses not to go. And I'm thinking, like, I don't want to, like, it, you know, can I bring, should I bring my baby out there? And just, like, all kinds of things that I was thinking in my head that just kind of, I was trying to deter myself from not going. Um, so then, like, I had to take it some more. And the games coming up after this, they're all more expensive, like double or triple the price. And so I'm just thinking, go ahead and just go to this game. Okay. And so found a really reasonable ticket. It was in the nosebleeds, but I was like, whatever. I, I just hoped that the people in the nosebleeds section weren't you know, like, all about partying in terms of, um, like, drinking and being belligerent and, you know, stuff like that, because sometimes that's what you get when you go to games. Um, so, uh, the baby bay got up, and we got ready to go, and, um, got us some good parking. Um, we only paid, well, we didn't pay, like, the full price, which is, like, 40 bucks. Um, and we got in there, there's a lot of folks there. And when we got to our seat, uh, um, I was like, okay, I hope people aren't acting up, you know. People were so nice. My neighbors were so nice. Um, the guy sitting to my right, he was super chill. We like, we were talking, it was cool. And then the girl mm. sitting to my left, she had just had a baby, a two month old baby she said she had. So I'm like, oh, great. So they get it. They were like, oh, how old is he? I said, you know, he's 11 months. So um, they totally understood. Like, they were like, he's doing so good. And baby bae, and you guys, I'll show you, like, some footage of us being um, at the game. But he was clapping and just yelling. And he, like, saying, like, hi. He does that. And so he's just, like, yelling and clapping and just, just so happy and joyful, like, we we had a really good time. There was also a baby, um, like a two two year old, uh, sitting in front of us with his parents. So I was in a really good section. I felt good about my decision to go tonight, and um, that just goes to show you, like your mind will try to your mind will try to tell you not to do something, um, or try to make up things in your head just. Maybe because you feel like a little bit scared about it, or I don't even know why I felt th that way. Like, I, I don't want to sit in the house, I've never been like a sit in the house type of girl, and um, you know, like all, all this stuff that has happened between me and his dad, like we're not together anymore. And I say, you know what? I'm not going to sit in the house. And I don't sit in the house. Um, we go to the movies, <laughs> we go out to eat. We go to museums and the lake. Um, we just go for car rides. We what else do we do? We travel. We traveled. Me and Baby Bay has traveled three times already. So we live, and he's only eleven months old. And for some reason, I was just like really nervous about going to this NBA game. Um. I'm just glad I went. I really had a great time. Like, it was dope. It was so dope. It was lots of other babies around his age. And, you know, he's, like, waving at him. And he, um, for halftime, he walked around. And there was a young man with a really cute pol Polaroid camera. And he took a picture of the baby bay and me. So I'll have to show you guys that. 
Um, but yeah, get out. If you guys are, there's moms out there who is just you and the baby, girl, get out there and have a good time. Just be safe in the process. Um, yeah, just know your surroundings and be safe. But yeah, we had an excellent, excellent time. And I'm just thankful that I went out there. Um, yeah. I'm going to vlog or vlog con V, V grande, vlog, V-L-O-G. So I'm going to be vlogging our little outings because I like it and it's fun. Um, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to upload our little vlog. Are you pooping? Um, all right, have a good night. Ciao. Me and Baby Bay are going to see the Warriors. leaving it's the fourth quarter and we are heading out of here um because you know it's 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 time to go to bed it's time for bedtime um but i had such a fun time i was a little bit apprehensive about going because i said i'm gonna be in the nosebleeds and i don't know who i'm gonna sit next to but you know what god be ordaining things i felt really good when i got here and my neighbors sitting next to me were so nice the one to my left she had a two-month-old baby um, but she left her baby at home and so she understood. She's like, oh, your baby's loving much. And then the guy sitting to my right was just so nice. He was so cool. So, and there was a little two-year-old sitting in front of us. So it was just like family fun, funness. Baby Bay loved it. He had fun. He walked around. He cheered. And we're going to have to do this again. I think I'm going to have to start a blog or something or a vlog to show our little outfit. So me and that baby bay made it back home and he is, he's sleepy, but he's like still, this is what he does when he goes to sleep, but we had a really good time. We had fun on baby bay. That was a good out outing, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I went. I'm going to really have to vlog about it. Bye. Going back um, real quick, um, I just wanted to share one more thing with you guys. So, um, another reason why I pushed myself to go into the NBA game tonight, the Warriors game, um, is because um, just for more socialization and just get used to getting out, make it a habit. Um, I am a single mother, so I'm saying that very specifically to mean something specific, so it's just me and the baby, um, his dad lives on the other side of town, <laughs> but it's just me and the baby, 
So we um, don't have our family. We don't have a family here um, other than us. Um, my immediate family lives, the majority of them live in Alabama, Mobile to be exact. But, um, and the closest family I do have here is in Sacramento. And I have my best friend, my best friend there. And um, I have my mom and my brother and, you know, folks I went to high school with and stuff like that. But essentially, um, it's just me and this baby bay here in the bay. Um, I live in the San Francisco Bay Area. So, and it's hard. It's very expensive here. It's I would say it's 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 extremely expensive, um, and it's just very difficult when raising a child like literally by yourself. Um, yeah, so it's important to get out, um, make make a good night. You know what I mean? Don't like for me like not being like in the house. Um, my baby is a very, 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 very active human being, and I, it seems like his personality is, is kind of set, like, a lot of people tell me your child's personality is set from, from the beginning, from when they come out of the womb, and I, I think, I believe that, because when he, even before he came out of the, out of the womb, when um, I saw him on his ultrasound, he was wiggling. He was just wiggling, 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 wiggling. And I was like, look at him. He looked like a little wiggly peanut. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Um, uh, he came out and he was just alert. You know, eyes looking around. Just looking all around, looking all around. Um, and so with that being said, he's always been very alert, very... Um, drawn to things very you know nosy baby that's what they call him um but he's been just very alert and pays attention to everything and he likes to be involved with things he likes to be engaged so for me um I get out as much as I can um we stay in and we play with all the toys um, he has different types of toys and different activities, but we like to get out too. So, and it's good for me. It's good for mama. Um, again, like I said, it's just me by, by myself. And I have some friends here. Thank God. I do have some friends here. Um, but most of my friends here don't have kids. And, um, but they're still super helpful and I appreciate them. I just, I'm really going through this motion right now of being just, me and baby bae, just me and him, and um, it is a journey, it is a journey, so like I said before, I'm going to be vlogging the vaca, <laughs> vlogging with you guys, so yeah, I just wanted to add that in, again, it's it's hard, you know, having me, family, um, but I thank God for the few people that are here within the city, and like the family and the very close friends that I have that live about an hour and a half away. Um, and then everybody in Alabama, you know, y'all hold it down. I love you guys. Sweet home Alabama. Alabama, roll tide, roll tide, roll tide, war eagle, all that stuff, you know, all of it mixed together. <laughs> well, I am going to go. Baby Bay is knocked out. See that baby bay. That's, he's just the sweetest little baby bay. I love you, baby. He doesn't... Well, he sleeps in his crib sometimes. But it's cold, so... He gonna sleep in his bed with me. Good night. Bye.